now you have two of your brothers in the NFL. Is that crazy for you to even comprehend that two guys that you played backyard football yeah. with, now you're going to be in front of the big lights? Yeah, it, it, I mean, it is. We, we talk about it all the time. You know, we used to play in the backyard. You know, you punt the ball and try and down it on the one, like silly little games mm -hmm. that you play in the backyard with yeah. your brothers. Uh, now we're in the NFL playing in front of millions of people on TV uh, on the biggest stage in the world. So it's unbelievable. It's special. Um, but at the same time, I'm so proud of them because I know how hard they work to get here. And it's, it's really cool because in our hometown, only one person before had ever been to the NFL and only two people had ever been Division One football players before. So it's kind of one of those testaments to, you know, what you can do if you're willing to put in the work. So it's, it's special. And it, it always, we talk about it a lot of time and some people don't believe that we actually believe it. But you just always have to remember where you came from. And you always have to remember what it took to get to where you are, no matter how successful you get. It's all about... Uh, making sure that you remember your roots. You guys have set the pretty bar, the high, the bar pretty high as far as a Mother's Day gift, <laughs> right? I know it's. You uh, have to get together and come up with something nicer than flowers. It's so hard, I know, but uh, <laughs> that's the cool thing. We have the charity softball game on yeah. Mother's Day weekend this year, so we're going to do a special thing for the guys, moms, all the guys that are mm -hmm. playing, um, and things like that. And so I think that's a good time. You know, you may see something special for my mom as well. And I mean, she's unbelievable. She's the one who. who yeah allows me to focus on football and she handles a lot of the stuff with the charity so I'll get text messages from her at four in the morning and I'm like mom why are you awake and she's like oh I just got done working out I'm like jeez what yeah she's really? unbelievable yeah she's she's incredible so she just wants to follow in your footsteps no I think it's the other way around I just want to follow in hers that's all <laughs> all right I want to read you a quote from somebody it said with his injury he's just really positive to see how hard he trains he's a motivating person motivates me every day do you know who said that uh no I do not your favorite Dash soccer player said that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She, she told us that. I, uh, not to get too personal, because that's not what this is mm -hmm. all about, but how has she helped you during this whole time, given that she's such a world-class athlete yeah, no, as well? Yeah, she, no, she's been great. Um, I mean, she's been, been with, the, with me through a lot of it. I mm -hmm. mean, she was there uh, during my surgery back before the season last year in, in the hospital, and when I couldn't, I couldn't leave the hospital bed for three days. She was right there, whatever I needed. She was there with me, giving me everything I needed and making yeah. sure I had everything. Um, so that was that was a tough time, and it wasn't even that deep into our relationship at that point. But she was there by my bedside every day, um, and then just throughout the whole recovery. You know, she would when I was up in Wisconsin, she would come and we go through the 12 mile walk. She'd walk 12 miles with me, and it's a fun. That's you really get to know each other through something like that, and you really learn a lot about each other through times like that. So. Um, She's been great, and I'm very fortunate to have her, and she's also very inspirational to me. I mean, watching her work and watching her go about her business, and uh, it's really it's really fun. So I think we have a, a fun thing going. We enjoy spending time with each other. We enjoy hanging out, and uh, so, yeah, it's been great. She's awesome. Does it ever take you back that any little thing you do in this town becomes a tough story? Yeah. I think it's kind of funny, but what do you think about that? You know, I've gone through, I think I've gone through all the phases of it. You know, it's very cool in the beginning when right. it's first starting to happen. It's wild. It's awesome. Um, and then after a while, there was a phase where it's a little bit annoying because you, you know you can't really do some of the things you want to do because you know everything you do is going to be posted about no matter what, whether you want it to or not. And then you go through a kind of a phase where you're like, you know what, I'm just going to do what I do anyway. And if people want to write about it or whatever, they're going to write about it. So I'm at a, I think I'm at a phase now where I'm very comfortable mm -hmm. with it and I just, I'm, I'm working on just living my life and, and, and letting whatever happens, happens. Uh, you know, I think that's, for a little while, I sheltered myself so much from it that I, I let it affect me too yeah. much. And so now I'm just kind of trying to live my life and go about my life and enjoy it as much as I can. And, and as long as my family and my friends uh, are happy and proud of me, that's all that matters. Is that the biggest area you think you've grown as a person since you got drafted? Just how you've handled all the attention and your schedule and everything that goes along with all the things that you've done? I think so. I mean, I think that I'm still learning. I'm not perfect by any means. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's still plenty of things that I, you know, there's a lot of, you learn on the run. And so sometimes you'll look back and you'll be like, oh, I wish I would have done this yeah. differently. I wish I wouldn't have done that or I wish I would have done that. So I'm still learning. I'm still growing. And I'm, I can't sit here and say that, oh, yeah, I've got it all figured out because I don't. But I do know that I'm trying to do the best I can along the way. And my only goal really is to try and make my fans and my family and my friends proud, uh, make my teammates proud and go out there and just give this city everything that I have to offer, whether it's on the football field or off the field, because I know it's a short, it's a short window and I'm going to try and make the most of it. But I've, it's been a long window uh, as far as an NFL career goes. So I'm just going to try and have a blast and 
I just can't wait to get back on the field and give these people the football player that they know.